Hello buddy, welcome back to a another video. And in this video, yes, we have frogs. So in this video, I'll be going over the latest Bedrock beta where the frogs and tadpoles were added into the game. So if you like mega videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.19 videos and other Minecraft videos. And so yes, we have our, well, second big addition for Minecraft 1.19 after the scope blocks already being added earlier in Minecraft Bedrock Edition already. So this is the Bedrock Beta 1.18.10.24. And yes, so <laughs> here it is. This is the frog. Looks beautiful, of course. And so if you want to get these frogs, you will have to enter the Bedrock Beta. I'll leave a link to a video where I explain how to do that in the top right hand side of your screen. And after that, you have to create a world where you have the wild update toggle set to true. So that is this toggle over here for experiments, the wild update. You have to activate this one to get the frogs and the tadpoles. And so there are four new items in this update. And so that is these frog eggs. Then there is a spawn egg for the frog. So that just spawns frogs, that makes sense. There is a spawn egg for the tadpole, which spawns, yes, tadpoles. Hello, very cute, very tiny, beautiful. And then lastly, there's also the bucket of tadpole, which is pretty much just a survival way to get a tadpole spawn egg, right? And of course, as you already expect, well, here are all the beautiful buckets we have currently. So there's the fish, the puffer fish, the axolotl, and the tadpole. If you use a water bucket on a tadpole like this, yes, you get a bucket of tadpole. That's also what it's called. So first of all, you can see that we have these frogs here. They're all orange. Now, so currently we are in a plains biome. That means these frogs are orange. This is also the default color and also the color they get when you spawn in a swamp. Now, of course, this is bedrock edition. So there's no locate biome command. So I can't easily find a swamp. So what we can do is find a snowy biome over here and then try to spawn in a frog and see what happens. Aha, look at this. We have the green frog here. Oh, and there's apparently some powder snow here. Let's go over here and push you over, please. Nope. Oh, there we have a green frog and an orange frog right next to each other. So the green frog spawns in these cold biomes. And then there's also a third variant of frog and that spawns in a desert. So let's see if we can find a desert somewhere here. All right, so I think these commands are not working just yet because in deserts you definitely spawn a... Desert frog, that doesn't work yet, so let's try to find a desert then. All right, here we are in a desert. Now let's spawn in the third one, and there it is, the white or grayish version of the frog. So those are the three different variants. There is the normal orange one, the green one for snowy biomes, and then the whitish one for the desert biomes. And so these frogs will croak, jump, swim, and walk on land. Of course, they walk on land here very, very beautifully. You can sometimes also see them croak, indeed. There jumps one. Oh, beautiful jump, beautiful jump, beautiful jump. Please croak. There we go, there it was. Very, very nice. Then there's a really interesting thing it says over here, and that is that these frogs will actually eat small slimes. So let's see that happening, I guess. That's not a small slime. That's also not... There we go. There's a small slime. As you get... Oh! What? Okay, that is incredible. Look at that. What? <laughs> it just eats it. The frog just completely eats the small slime. There we go. Another one. You see their tongue, like, sticking out? And also it drops the slime all, as you can see. Whoa. It was really quick there. Let's get a whole lot of slimes in here. And then what we can do is this. And again. And now we just have small ones. Right? Yes. I don't think he can choose between all of these slimes. Oh, nope. No, he got one. There we go. Oh, oh, now he's, now he's going on a rampage. <laughs> Look at this. This is incredible. That's such an awesome feature. It just eats up the slimes and then drops a single slime ball. I guess this could be used for like slime forms or whatever. That's such an awesome feature. All right, but yeah, this is not the only thing these frogs can do. It's, of course, a really cool feature that, yeah, as you can see there, they can eat slimes. But you can also breed them. And so for now, that's done with seagrass, but that will probably change in the future since this is just a placeholder food that is used, for example, by turtles. So let's see what happens here. Let's summon in two frogs here. And we give them both a piece of seagrass. We see they will mate. And now, instead of actually producing a baby straight away, they'll actually start to lay eggs. So this frog over here will go over to the water and will lay some eggs over here. So let's see that happening. So we'll go into F1 and we'll look at this. There we go. 
it laid some eggs on the water. All right, this looks really strange. You can look at it from underneath as well. So yeah, let's do a little bit more of this. And of course, this is the frog egg item we had here before, which is, as you can see, you can place on top of water, which is quite strange, of course, because if you use a normal block on water, so let's say we want to put a grass block on water, you can't, you can't use it here. And look at that, these eggs came out. We got some tadpoles here now. And if these frog eggs hatch, they will spawn in the tadpoles. And that's where the tadpoles are born. And this also determines which type of frog they will become once they grow up. So if these... There we go. If these tadpoles are born in a swamp, then they will grow up into the orange variant. If they grow up in a snowy biome, they'll grow up into the green variant. If they grow up in a desert like over here, they should grow up into a beautiful white variant over here. So I'm not quite sure how this works entirely because of course they can only do this on water and water is most of the time just going to be the river. So these might actually grow up into orange frogs instead of the white ones because they were born in the river and not in the desert. And so if a tadpole is spawned on land, it will bounce around like this and it has the same mechanics as a normal fish and will try to go towards the water but will also eventually die. Oh, there we go. Very, very sad. And of course, the tadpoles that grow up will turn into frogs eventually. And so let's get a couple more of these eggs laid. So let's spawn in a whole lot of frogs here. And so the type of frog doesn't actually depend on the type of frog of the parents. So that's quite interesting, actually. So we can use some seagrass. They'll also come towards us, as you can see, when we're holding the seagrass. So one of the two will go towards the water, as we can see. The other one will just stay behind and they will go towards the water and automatically place down some of these frog eggs, as you can see. And so I do believe it's just one of these every single time. But one of these can actually spawn in multiple tadpoles, as we saw before. So we can put a whole lot more down here there we go those are two now these should go here that's three that's three that's whoa that's a lot see i do think it's like between two and four tadpoles somewhere in there of course i don't have the numbers just yet but that's what we're seeing right here between two and four tadpoles spawning from every one of these frog eggs Let's look at how these guys are doing. Yeah, I mean, they're getting most of the frogs. So look at all these slime balls on the ground over here. That could be a really, a really cool idea for a slime farm indeed. And so, of course, these frogs can also swim. So let's see that as well. So here are a couple of frogs. And as you can see, indeed, they are the orange ones. If I spawn them in over here in the river, if I spawn them in up here, then they are the, the white version. It's really just biome dependent. But as we're seeing lots of these white frogs around here, I do believe that those are ones that grew up before from the tadpoles that are down here. Let's see if we can actually see one of these tadpoles grow up into a frog. They are really, really cute though. Look at them. Ah, like, look at that. You can also feed them the seagrass, which will probably speed up their... Yep, their growth into frogs so you can keep spamming them with seagrass and then they will grow up automatically there we go as you can see these are becoming the orange variant which is slightly concerning but of course this is the very first time they're adding the frogs to the game there might be bugs there might be little things that are not working just yet so that's totally to be expected but look at these frogs just swimming around they look so cute swimming look at them wow incredible but I do believe that is pretty much all there is to show to you for now. So these are the frogs and the tadpoles added to Minecraft Bedrock Edition in the newest Bedrock Beta. If you like this video then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one, 1.19 news and other Minecraft videos as well. I want to thank my tier 3 member the Smickler, I think I'm becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to come and click the blue join up my review to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in the next one. So until then... Bye-bye!